Hello and welcome, it's Dave M0 OGY. In this video I take a look at the new Anytone 806666 Pro. Um, I'm taking a look at the modification to open it up for the 15 meter amateur radio band. So firstly you have to turn the radio upside down and remove the bottom case uh, with a screwdriver and four screws, so we'll do that first. So once removing the bottom case, the four screws, and uh, carefully stand it under the chassis so it doesn't fall over and pull the, the speaker wires off. Looking inside on the circuit board, there's the jumper. So I've put my little uh, radio, on, uh, radio tuning tool, which I use as a pointer, pointing at it to try and help you there. So yeah, looking on that bottom corner, there's two uh, white lines and above behind it there's a, a black jumper looks uh, larger on the film on the video but it is very small and there is some numbers on it so you basically need a, a nice pair of tweezers and carefully remove it and lift it across and once that's done and you reassemble it put the case back on it should work on the 15 meter amateur radio band as well as 10, 12 and 11 meters. So it is a true quad bander. Now once uh, I've got the bottom back on I'll go and try it. It does enable I think uh, another uh, three options on the um, banding so we'll have a look in a minute get it to box back up and see if it works okay. So yeah when I did have a look around the circuit board I did miss that. Well, I actually saw it and wonder what it was, but it, it didn't really click. So anyway, we found it in the end. So that's your jumper. Just move it across. Uh, and uh, there is a software which you can program the various frequencies in also and plug it in the back panel. We'll get the bottom back on it. So that's the modification done so you basically move the jumper it's set on the one and two so to your right as it comes from the factory and you have to lift the little jumper off and move that from two to three um, straightforward enough but it's so minute it's a little bit of a struggle and you definitely need a pair of those a pair of tweezers you'll never do it without so that's the modification carried out, just a basic jumper and uh, we will get the bottom back on now and uh, go and plug it in and see if we've got the additional frequencies, I'm sure we have. So we're just having another look and uh, it's set on band K which is the 12 metre amateur radio band and if you scan across you've also got band L which is 25 megs band M there you go 15 meters starts dead on 21 megs so you're on band M band N so it's moving up the uh, channels as you can see 21 240 band O so indeed moving the jumper does give you the initial, the additional 15 meter band in steps of 40 channels. And then we're going back down to 25 on A. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, no, I sorry, this one. J there, sorry, I J. K. Twelve meters. L. And then the new bands. So M. N and O. So you've got three. Another basically what 120 channels. Oh, on VFO mode, obviously for the amateur radio band. So there you have it the 15 meter modification brilliant
Yep, it's all there. So that's uh, that's what you've got anyway. So thanks for watching this short video, and uh, we'll be back soon. Best seven threes from Dave M zero, OGY two six eighty zero twenty five. Bye bye.